George Steinbrenner, the story by Wallace Matthews, the writer in New York, that uh, George Steinbrenner belongs in the Hall of Fame regardless of whether you loved him or hated him, the late Yankees owner. And I got to tell you, I couldn't agree with him more. Couldn't agree with him more. Now, a lot of people think he was, you know, thrown out of baseball, suspended, everything else. Steinbrenner. There is no guy that I honestly, there is no one that I respect more of what he meant to baseball than that guy. I mean, honestly. You know, people are always talking about Pete Rose and everything, right? That It just never ends. The Pete Rose uh, getting into the Hall of Fame talk, right? And then now they uh, tried to start up this Barnes, Clemens, A-Rod thing, right? And that, now that's kind of a flavor of the day. But how about this one for a flavor of the day? I think that Steinbrenner is more important than all of them. I mean, that guy, I don't care what you think about him. He impacted baseball in a huge way. The evil empire, all of that is all because of him. All the wars with the Boston Red Sox were not because of actually, in my opinion... Baseball, actually, uh, Carver Ives, because of Steinbrenner. He hated him like no other. And it, it was just palpable. And then, like, the things that he did for baseball, like the, the amount of money he paid players, like Reggie Jackson and all these other guys, right? Dave Winfield. Think of the money this guy spent. People don't like it, but those deals that he swung for Reggie Jackson, those are enormous baseball-changing moves. It's no different than now. You're talking about a guy like Bryce Harper going to make three, four, five hundred million dollars, right? It was the same thing with Reggie Jackson. 